Hello guys, uh, welcome back again. Uh, I'm going to quickly demonstrate on how we can download the ready Oracle Rack setup from our Google Drive and then how you can set up your own lab environment on your own laptop or desktop using your uh, uh, you know, Oracle Virtual Box uh, you know, Media Manager, right? So quickly I can show you a demo on this particular uh, sessions. Uh, where, um, you know, you can, uh, it, these are like readily available labs, which are available in our Google Drive. If you see here, uh, rack uh, VM, uh, ready VM rack setup here. I have three racks set up here. Uh, it's like, these all three are like two node rack setup. Like it's a two node rack setup with only ASM grid infrastructure installed using grid user. And the second one is rack setup, ASM and database with the Oracle user. With the help of this Oracle user, I you know, set up two node rack, uh, with the grid infrastructure and then the database, both are owned by Oracle user. And the third one is Oracle Rack Setup. That's a two node Rack Setup with the ASM and database installed in that using grid user and Oracle user. Oracle user. ASM is installed with the grid user and then database is installed with Oracle user. These are three different combinations of uh, Rack Setup. You can download any one of them and then you can use it in your own uh, lab. So I just downloaded this one here uh, just to demonstrate Oracle Rack with ASM and grid. So ASM with the installed with the help of grid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and then extract this one here. Uh, just right click and then extract here. In order to extract this one, you should have your uh, uh, WinRAR setup should be installed here. This is your WinRAR software. You have to be installed with that one. The moment you unzip this one, you'll see this particular rack uh, uh, folder. And then uh, you see this is the disk one. That's a, a shared disk between these two, Oracle Lab 1 and Oracle 2, Oracle Lab 2. These are the two nodes, cluster nodes, Oracle Lab 1 and then uh, Oracle Lab 2. Right now, the shared disk, which is of 3 GB, which is just uh, extracted here. And then that's a shared uh, disk, which will be used to create your OCI disk group, where you are going to store your voting disk and voting, uh, you know, OCI registry inside this particular OCI disk group. So that's unzipped. And right now, uh, your Oracle Lab 1 is getting unzipped. Once that is done, Oracle Lab 2 will get unzip. Once the unzip is done, you're going to use your um, Oracle Media Manager. This is your Oracle Virtual Box Media Manager, and then you can set up your own lab on your uh, laptop. Okay, let it get unzipped this one, and then we'll uh, we'll start with the uh, you know how we can set up a lab in in this particular Oracle Virtual Box. All right, so this is extracting here. Uh, almost 93% uh, uh, com completed for Oracle Lab one. So it will start with Oracle Lab 2 extraction. Right, you can see Oracle Lab 2 extraction done here. All right, that's uh, um, other thing. Um, yeah, let it get extract. We will uh, start setting up our lab here using your Oracle VM virtual box. All right, so almost completed. Okay, your uh, extraction is done. Oracle Lab 1, Oracle Lab 2, both are, uh, both are completed here. Let's see, uh, go to your Oracle VM virtual box here. Click on this machines plus button here or plus button here, anyone. Just click on this plus button and then go to that browser where you go to that location where you unzipped. So that will be like C uh, Malik lab and uh, rack setup. Go to this Oracle lab one and then this, uh, whatever the blue color you are seeing it here, Oracle lab one, just add it. And then that will gonna, uh, that's gonna add your Oracle lab one here. And similarly click on this machine plus button here, and then go to same thing, see Malik lab rack, and then go to this Oracle lab two, and then again, this blue color icon here, Oracle lab two, open. You'll see two nodes are ready here, Oracle lab one and Oracle lab two. And then if you know, observe here, this both uh, Oracle lab one, Oracle lab two, your disk, say disk is getting inaccessible. So if you click on this one, it says Malik YouTube course, uh, wheel and then rack. So that's your say disk, which is, uh, pointing to your uh, you know source location where you extracted these files so what you need to do in that case uh, just go ahead and uh, edit them like go to oracle lab one and then open this with the uh, note plus plus and then you see this particular uh, oracle lab one and then your disk one here you can replace the disk one using uh, wherever you unzip so this is a disk one where you unzip here just copy that path and then just replace it here see uh, it should be like malik and then it should be like lab, Malik lab and then rack. So that will be like your uh, Malik lab and rack and then disk one. This is a location for your uh, disk one. So, and then save this one, close this one. Similarly, do to your Oracle lab two and then try to open this one. 
and I don't think so here that Oracle Lab, the disk one is set up here. So just ignore this one here. Now go back here. And now uh, you can just uh, uh, just add it here, choose the disk. And then uh, I'll just remove this one. Uh, just, just uh, uh, or else I just close here and then go to your Oracle Media Manager here. Whatever this disk is inaccessible, just remove that one. Just right click here and then uh, uh, right click here. Uh, just uh, release the disk or whatever like or else like i can just simply go here and then release the disk release and then go ahead and then add it here uh, whatever the disk you want you can just go ahead and then add that disk back here that will be like your uh, c we'll go to c drive malik lab and then rack and then disk one again getting failed here what we can do now uh, simply i can close this one here uh, the disk was released from this one here and then similarly, uh, on Node 2 also got this got released. Uh, one more time, go back to your virtual media manager and then remove this one here now, and then it will remove it actually now here. Once that remove is done, just go go back here, or else like add the disk whatever you you have unzipped here. C drive, Malik, uh, lab, rack, and then disk one. Add it that one, uh, which will be like says normal. You can just make it as variable here and then apply it done so that's done and then now we can add it that disk whatever you added on both the both the, both the servers here go to storage controller sata disk one okay and then similarly go to node 2 add storage controller sata and then click on this add add the disk one okay so done so your disk one is back online here and then disk one is back online on both rounds so just go ahead and start your both uh, nodes uh, Oracle Lab One, I'm just starting it now here. Uh, yeah, I'm getting started here. All right, so, and then go back and then start your Oracle Lab Two as well. This is your Lab One, and then this is your Lab Two. Or you can just minimize and then keep both side by side. This is your Oracle Lab 1 and this is your Oracle Lab 2. Right, so Oracle Lab 1 is ready here. Right, it started here, log in with your grid. And then whatever the password you have defined that one, just enter that one here. And then Oracle Lab 2 also ready, log in with your grid. And then open your terminal here and then do psfnef grep smon your cluster is getting started here and then this is your oracle lab 2 uh, click on this view options at our guest side display here click on this terminal setup here psfnef grep smon uh, again cluster is getting started here you have to give you have to wait for a few more seconds and then your cluster will be ready and then you can set your environment dot or INV uh, plus ASM1 and then OLS nodes. And then you can see your Oracle Lab 1 and Oracle Lab 2 is part of this cluster. Right, still your cluster is getting started. Dot CRSCTL stat resource hyphen T hyphen init. Uh, you can see all the services are getting started here. Same thing here. Dot or INV plus ASM2. CLCTL stat resource hyphen t hyphen init. Again, uh, all the services are back online here. And then on node one also, all the services are back online. Just to ps hyphen ef grep smon. You can see uh, all the services are online. Your ASM is yet to start. Here also, if I do smon, okay, your ASM is, ASM2 is online here. And then your ASM1 online is here. Right, you can do CRSCTL uh, check. CRS, right, you can see your all the four services, Oracle High Ability, Oracle Cluster Ready Service, Cluster Synchronization Service, and Event Manager, all are online here. Same thing, CRSCTL, uh, CRSCTL, check CRS. Okay, Cluster, uh, Oracle High Ability Service, Cluster Ready Service, Cluster Synchronization Service, and Event Manager, all are online here. And then from Node 1, you can do easily SSH to Node 2 whatever this oracle lab one just copy that one and then replace it here oracle lab two 
and then without any password you are going to go into your uh, node 1 and node because that's one of the prerequisites you have set it as part of this cluster setup right so that's a simple way you can how you can extract uh, uh, these ready machines uh, from our uh, uh, google drive just download them and then just uh, install it on your uh, your own laptop or desktop and then you got your two node lack setup is ready and then you can extract them using your uh, own putty sessions or whatever right now i extracted i am accessing using the direct lab machines here you can do if config and then uh, we can use this uh, uh, enps3 whatever this ip address copy this one and then go to your uh, putty sessions take a putty ssh connections here and then you can use your root user or uh, oracle user whatever user and then um, you can able to extract it using your putty sessions or mobile extrem and then your oracle lab is ready oracle lab one similarly on the other node just to if config <clears throat> and then scroll up and then use this uh, public ip enps3 and then copy that ip address and then go to again putty sessions here ssh and then root at 123 so if i login here do psfnf grep psmon so my asm2 is ready here so this is the easiest way you can extract uh, these ready machines and then you can use it for your practice purpose uh, that's it guys uh, thank you we'll uh, we'll meet in our next session thanks a lot bye bye